I'm standing here with appropriately Dave the Alligator. How you doing? Oh, you got your mouth taped shut. Who is this guy? This is Dave the Alligator. I'm Skyler. Um, so we're with Croc Encounters. We're located off of 301 in Tampa. Um, so basically we're kind of an animal sanctuary slash uh, attraction. Uh, most of our alligators are wild caught. We work with FWC to um, basically control, will help with the, the alligator population here in Florida. Right. Um, people will, will call FWC to try to, maybe their alligators in their prop, on their property. I've got one in my backyard yeah. in my little gator slow back yeah. in, uh, in uh, Cape Coral there, but I don't think anyone cares. Yeah, most of the time they'll just leave you alone as long as you leave them alone, it's usually best. Um, now if it's, it's when they start coming up to people that that's the issue. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to ever feed them. Right. Um, we actually just got one picked up off the USF campus. It was like six and a half feet. It just was, was walking up to people. It was. Now do yeah. they get to that point when they get bigger because they become more bold or? It's, it's more just people are feeding them. Even the bigger ones will uh, usually try really? to leave people alone, yeah. So my son is safe in my backyard even though this thing's in the, in the, in the canal behind me? Generally, now don't go playing in the water with the alligator, but for the most part, they'll, they'll usually stay away. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Now, how old is this, is this guy right here? Now, he's probably between two and three years old. We can estimate based on his size. They can grow up to a foot a year as long as they're fed properly. Wow. Um, so that's how we can kind of guess. What do you guys feed these? Um, we'll do a mixture of whole rodents. We will do fish, and then we also have a uh, croc pellets that's actually formulated for crocodiles and alligators. Um, the whole rodents are important. Whole food has all the organs and everything. That's where all the vitamins come from. Interesting. Now, this is an alligator or a crocodile? This is an American alligator. Explain to our viewers how you can tell that this is an alligator. There's a couple ways that you can tell. Now, when they're young like this, they'll have these yellow stripes. Crocodiles will come in a few different colors. They'll come in olive colors. They'll tan, uh, maybe like that. The alligators, other than these yellow stripes, are completely black on top. Oh, looks like he's going to the bathroom. Yep. <laughs> once Dave, once the alligator. Happens. Gotta go, you gotta go. Um, their snout's gonna be a little more robust, and if you look at the teeth up front, they're very straight. The crocodiles, their teeth, are, they'll have kind of a snaggle tooth effect. You'll see them all over. With the alligators toward the back, you see no teeth. The top ones will actually go into small little pouches on the bottom jaw. Interesting, okay. Now, um, which are more dangerous? I would say the crocodiles, they're just more aggressive. Um, as, and, and as far as power goes, I mean, they're going to be about the same, but the crocodiles are more aggressive and territorial. We don't have nearly as many crocodiles in Florida as we do alligators, though. For the viewers out there, is this a good pet to have? I'd say probably not. I would not. No. Um, you can, if you want to keep one and you have the space and the know-how, I guess go for it, but I don't really recommend it. They get absolutely massive. Now, some people think that if you keep these in a tank, they will only go to the size of the enclosure. That not is a fish not yet. true. Not a no. fish here. That, you cannot do that with any reptile. So they get big. They will start biting. You cannot fully tame an alligator. Some people can get them semi-tame-ish, but there's always that one time that it decides to bite, and that one time can, you know. Now, Dave, uh, you can't really bite me because your mouth is taped shut, but I just want to say thank you very much for the interview. And uh, I'm sure all the people out there in Muscle Serpents University land uh, are thankful that, uh, that you're doing well. Dave Palumbo, over here with Dave the Alligator for Muscle Serpents University. I'm standing over here with Cheryl and Eugene the Owl, who is not a male but a female. A female, yes. This is Eugene. Oh, she's looking at the dogs. What kind of uh, owl is this? Bard, a B A R R E D. Okay. And she was hit by a car. Oh, terrible. And the vet had to remove her eye. The vet she only has one eye. Her. Okay. Yes. She's she lives with us because she's not able to hunt or take care of herself in the wild. What do you feed her? Uh, chicken, beef heart, and uh, rats and mice, frozen. Really? You know. now, can she still hunt? Does she still no, hunt? No. No. That's okay. why she lives with us. Does she's, she fly around? Yes, she can fly, and she has a large aviary. She lives mm. with several friends. Oh, nice, nice. And, uh, she's been with us about four years. Uh, Eugene, anything to say for the for the audience out there? No, not. Oh, you're not a parrot. I forgot you don't speak. Um, are these very intelligent birds? Yeah, so, you know they they manage their environment very well. Their their main sense is hearing. That's mm. how they locate their prey. But, and then they uh, zoom in it with their eyes. And they have very good, when they have two eyes, they have very good well, binocular yeah. vision, right? Yes, monocular vision. She, wouldn't, she could hear it, but she would never be able to right. catch it. Beautiful bird. Thank you so much for talking to us, and, and, and keep her in good faith and you good know. luck. Thank you.